Dylan responds that he is aware of the fact that my father committed suicide two years ago and that you recently lost your father I have experienced. Anthony asks Dylan why you are helping me so much. While they are both in the dressing room. The agony of losing a father is the reason I'm backing you because Anthony opens his locker and finds that his clothes have disappeared. When he goes to the bathroom, it looks like someone put someone's clothes in the toilet, which was actually before Anthony and Dylan went home. Brent, the bully, completed this task as well now that Sharon has learned that her mother has planned a party for today. Anthony tells Sharon that the party will be held at Anthony's house the following evening. When Dylan goes inside to use the bathroom, he accidentally enters Sharon's room, where it examines pictures of Sharon's family Sharon who has just arrived. Start a conversation with Sharon by telling her that Dylan's father has passed away. Sharon continues the conversation by giving her money. A few days later, Dylan visits Sharon's property. Although Sharon works in real estate and owns this house, Dylan doesn't want to live there. Brent performs worse than Anthony. Brent is hurried after seeing Anthony play well, so he rushes to Anthony's locker to flush Anthony's clothes. However, he still misses Mark very much in this house. Dylan tells him that my uncle wants to buy this land the next day. However, the locker is secured because Dylan Aaron began to threaten Anthony this time when Brent was near Anthony's locker. Nobody should intimidate or harass Anthony while Sharon is at home because Dylan Aaron is a man who has had an affair in the past. Sharon had received similar mail before, but she didn't tell Detective Barnes about it because she thought it would be awkward for him to talk about their friendship. So when Sharon's secretary Katie found out about the email, she gave her the same advice. Barnes encourages Sharon to talk to him about it, but she kept quiet about what had happened. She encourages Dylan Anthony to put in more effort in class and accepts his invitation to go out with Megan. The following evening, Megan accepts Anthony's date proposal, so Dylan stays at Anthony's house. Since Dylan and Sharon are now alone in their home, they talk about how miserable each other's lives are. Dylan now wants Sharon to tear pages out of Mark's book. Sharon is relieved when she does this, but Anthony and his date are having a great time and making out in the car. Dylan then goes to the bathroom and takes off his clothes before joining Sharon as she takes a bath outside. Despite the fact that Sharon is aware of this, she is unable to turn him down. The relationship begins when Anthony comes home from his date, and Dylan returns to his house. A few days later, Megan Anthony's girlfriend is confronted by Brent at school by Megan Anthony's girlfriend. Dylan's house is also shown to us, and it is in bad shape. He was setting an example for others by living that way. This is all a lie. The fact that Sharon was getting mail then becomes clear that Dylan sent it. You are welcome to look at Dylan in the office file. Megan's mother had previously worked there, so she had access to student records. After some time has passed, Dylan and Brent finally met, and Dylan tells Brent that he is having a problem. Megan doesn't believe Brent when he claims that the man is keeping something from the group. After hearing this, I'll also tell everyone else one of your truths, because Dylan is concerned Brand might not have known the truth. As a result, he makes plans and promises Anthony that he won't betray him when they meet because he has no choice. Anthony agrees, but Dylan cuts his hand with a knife. Makes his way through the area and talks to everyone Brent treated him this way, because it was a serious matter. Detective Barnes told Sharon about everything because he is also a student there. Sharon also goes to school. Dylan responds to Barnes' question by saying that Brent stabbed me. Brent Anthony had a similar fear of knives. He would respond, yes, that's true, assuming it was accurate. After Sharon and Anthony have returned home, Sharon explains to her why Anthony never told her that he had been a bullet at school. At that point, the two of them start debating the fact that Sharon had actually seen Anthony tear apart Mark's books, 
which led Anthony to believe that Sharon had never truly loved Mark. Sharon then discovers that Anthony had actually seen Sharon tear apart Mark's books. That she had learned of Anthony's previous marriage from her date, and that Anthony is also aware of it. After Anthony storms out of the room, Dylan eventually sends Sharon a message asking for a second viewing of the property. Sharon then returns to the house. Megan runs into Anthony at school the following day and shows her the kiss video I see Megan recorded that video the previous evening Megan did in fact find out the truth about Dylan when Dylan eventually runs into Megan he takes her phone and then uses his phone to capture the moment. Dylan is also in attendance once those couples have started kissing. The video shows Dylan following Megan whenever she leaves that location. In due course, Sharon discovers that a video of him and Dylan kissing has been posted online, angering her. Detective Barnes then appears to inform Sharon that the lawsuit is not moving forward. Sharon then shows him her video and continues by bringing up the emails from people who had met Mark. Barnes was unaware that Sharon was saying this, so he becomes furious and leaves Megan extends an invitation to Dylan's house. I am currently not involved in the case of Mark's murder. To Anthony after he finally understands what she was trying to say. Anthony can't find anyone in Dylan's house, but Dylan sneaks up behind him and crumples to get Megan's phone. In this passage, we learn that Dylan had sent Anthony a message. Dylan then texts Sharon to tell her that Anthony will stay at my house. Today, Joe invites Sharon to his house in a late-night letter. Megan tells Detective Barnes about it before she leaves. Dylan sent this email to Sharon. When Sharon enters the house, Dylan comes into view for her. Dylan is now telling him the whole truth. Sharon was the first person Joe had a relationship with. Since everyone found out about the affair, Dylan's father committed suicide. Dylan is now sorry for Sharon, so he wants to get even with her. He continues by saying that Mark, his husband, had been killed. He then gives Sharon a knife and suggests that he kill himself. Yes, Anthony threatens him, saying, if you don't comply, I'll kill Anthony. Sharon, however, decides not to follow Anthony's advice and instead uses the knife to stab Dylan in the leg before attempting to flee. Detective Barnes eventually goes there as well, and Sharon tells Barnes. The whole truth is that Dylan has already left to save her son when Barnes comes in to look for her. Barnes and Sharon went to Dylan's house, but when Anthony wakes up, he will be awake because he will realize that he is tied to a tree in a forest. Megan also keeps a close eye on him. Meanwhile, Barnes and Sharon arrive at Dylan's house. These people then went to Anthony's home to look for him when they get into the woods. Barnes is left behind Dylan Doan. That Barnes succumbs to his wounds as he approaches Barnes with a knife. Dylan then takes Barnes' gun. Anthony arrives. He tries to persuade Dylan. Megan hits him from behind. Sharon takes the weapon back. She strikes Dylan 